My Divine Encounter with the Lord Testimony of the Calling of Prophet John Hello brother and sister, I'm Prophet John, my family was Catholic, however, they have a history of ancestral and witchcraft traditions, I was raised a Catholic, but I could not get a job after going to university, when I came to the conclusion that I may never find a job I was so disappointed. I gave up the tradition of attending Mass every Sunday, I felt that God did not care, in this time of darkness, I decided to survive one way or another, I opened an electronic and repair shop, the suffering was so intense that I became corrupt, later, I gathered young people and we formed a gang and we got in robbery, I thought the armed robbery was the solution, it will give us more money and it will propel us forward and out of poverty. One day I was in my shop under the tree and I was pondering deeply about the armed robbery when suddenly something beyond the ordinary happened, at that moment, I heard a bird making noise, strangely, I could understand the meaning of the noise that this bird was making, this bird reprimanded me as if he could read my thought of armed robbery, the Lord spoke to me through this bird despite the fact that at this point in my life I was an unbeliever and a criminal. This is how I came to the Lord for I was never evangelized, the bird said to me, John, you will go around the world to preach the gospel, I will use you and people will talk about you, at that moment, I thought I lost my mind, I thought this could be the consequence of robbing people, I thought maybe a victim of our robbery has hit back in a mystical way to avenge himself, when the bird stopped speaking to me, immediately I heard the word of the bird speaking in my heart. I could hear the same words that the bird spoke I will make you my servant, in this country, people will talk about you, and you will go around the world, when I went home, I explained to a friend what happened to me, he thought that I was getting crazy, I was not myself on that day, I was troubled, I said, I have been stealing people's things, this is the result, it was in the night when I went to sleep that things escalated. I was sleeping deeply when I heard a voice calling me and instructing me to wake up, I woke up and I stood up, immediately, I noticed that my body was sleeping, it was my spirit that stood up, the voice said to me, John, we have to visit the world, I could hear someone speaking but I could not see the person but his presence was there that there was no doubt in me, this was Jesus Christ himself, when he came that night, he told me that we have to visit the world, straight away. He transported me to Europe, but I have never been to Europe previously, then we went to Asia and America, Jesus said, John, all this land, the creation, and the people are the works of my hand, I have made all these things, the voice of Jesus was clear and explicit, yet even today, he talked to me clearly and explicitly, when we visited the African continent, I noticed that the other continents were different from Africa, but when we traveled to the African continent, I saw a lot of raw material, I noticed that all the ocean and the sea were heading to Africa, Jesus said, I wanted Africa to be the reserve of world raw material, instability in Africa is a result of world powers battling for these raw materials, then I woke up from sleep and despite this experience, I was not converted, on that day I went out with my girlfriend to bars and nightclubs, the following day, there was silence, I could not hear the voice, when I noticed this silence, I decided to discipline myself, as a result, I heard the voice of Jesus Christ again, Jesus said to me, John, I want to show the consequence of conflict and war that erupted in the heavens, and the place where Lucifer and his angels were cast out, Jesus talked about Revelation 12 verse 7 9 and there was war in heaven, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, ate and prevailed not neither was their place found any more in heaven, nine and the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent, called the devil, and Satan, which deceives the whole world, he was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him, Jesus said, after the war, this is what happened, immediately, we traveled beneath the Atlantic Ocean, it was massive and glorious, we stopped in the middle of the ocean, Jesus said, let's get down inside the water, straight away, we began to descend deep inside the water, it was really deep, I descended up to a point where I reached the bottom of the ocean, and suddenly I found myself in an unknown and mysterious world, it was a very massive kingdom, a very busy city with a lot of population, 
Suddenly I saw a monster in a huge auditorium, this monster was a dragon, he was addressing delegates and representatives that came from all over the earth with a lot of arrogance and violence, in the auditorium, there were people from all over the world, the dragon that was addressing the audience was speaking blasphemies against God with gravity and violence, Jesus said to me, these are powers that dwell beneath the ocean. They rise from the ocean to the surface of the earth in order to influence and manipulate the people in rebellion against God, and then they come back to the deep ocean, the Bible says in Revelation 13 verse 1 to 2 And I stood on the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and on his horns ten crowns, and on his heads the name of blasphemy, too and the beast which I saw was like to a leopard and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power, and his seat, and great authority, the oceanic water is the seat and residence of powers that have besieged and taken control of the earth, these forces are under the command of fallen angels that fell in the firmament, it was when I was about to leave the marine kingdom under the ocean that I was arrested and charged by demons, I was told that I entered their dimension illegally, and I will not expose their secret, therefore, I was under their arrest, as I was in their hands, I heard Jesus instructing me to sing a song of praise and worship, it was when I was singing a song of praise that the chains that were on me fell, and I got out of the ocean, while I was singing a friend who was sleeping by my side heard me and he woke me up, he said, people are sleeping and you are singing a song in your dream, this experience gave me terror, I said to myself, I must come to Jesus Christ, so I went to see a Catholic priest at Our Lady of Fatima Parish, I met the father and I told him about my experience. The priest listened to me carefully without saying a word, he observed me deeply, then he entered the parish, when he came out of the parish, I noticed that he put on a very strange and mysterious glass, then he observed me carefully and said to me, no ordinary human can see these things that you saw you're favored by God, he said to me, because you are Catholic, take these books and read them, in truth, Catholic priests are no stranger to the marine kingdom and the spiritual world, later when I told men of God about these visits and the voice that I was hearing, they told me that it is the same voice that spoke to the prophets in the Bible, later, Jesus came and said to me, you must go and tell the world things that you saw and you must preach the gospel because the judgment and destruction is coming upon the people of the world who have rejected the gospel, three kinds of spirits causing evil on earth, a few days later, the Lord opened my eyes and said to me, I will show you three kinds of spirits that are causing evil on the earth, Jesus said, my son, in the aftermath of a war in heaven resulting from the insurrection, many heretics, and apostate angels were cast out of their homeland, Many of the angels that were cast out did not land on the earth, but they fell in the black void outside heaven, yet despite the fact that these angels are in the second heaven, their attention is not on the third heaven but on the earth, since they lost the war in heaven, they know that any attempt to launch an assault at the gate of the upper heaven will fail because the third heaven is God's dwelling place, therefore, they have shifted their attention and focus on the earth, Jesus said. These angels in the firmament are the ones ruling the earth, when I saw these fallen angels in the second heaven, I was blown away by their beauty. These angels in the second heaven are made up of light, their bodies were built with precious stones that were beaming great light, they were radiant and shining, God did not remove their power nor beauty, they live in the second heaven but they have seized the earth, they have taken over the earth and they are controlling the whole earth, evil on the earth is orchestrated by them. Jesus said to me, these fallen angels that are in the firmament do not descend on the earth to execute evil because they have unclean spirits called demons who are under their command and order, they have deployed unclean spirits on the earth in order to execute their design and plans, billions of demons that are operating on the surface of the earth are getting orders from these powerful fallen angels who are stationed in space, these demons do not have bodies, they can go through walls and physical elements, However, they keep away from believers because the presence of the Holy Spirit in the believer makes them blazing and fiery, people who have the Spirit of God have a fire burning in them.
these demons deviate and walk the other way to avoid the flame of fire in the believer. The Bible says that John was a lamp that was burning and gave light and you were willing for a season to bask in his light. John 5 verse 35 Jesus said, When you are living in sin, these unclean spirits deployed by fallen angels can enter in your life, and these fallen angels are the ones ordering these demons to orchestrate evil and destroy men on the surface of the earth, they are causing chaos and bloodshed, as the Lord Jesus was speaking. I saw the whole earth in trouble because of these evil spirits that are getting the orders from the fallen angels, they have invaded and besieged the whole earth, I saw young people with guns in armed robberies because of the unclean spirits that are influencing them, Jesus showed me demons causing men marrying men, women marrying women, Jesus said, even animals who are lower than men don't do these things. The male beast never mates with another male beast, the female beast doesn't mate with another female beast, how come the man that I have created in my image and likeness has descended to this level of unnatural sex practice? Romans 1 verse 26 to 27 For this cause, God gave them up to vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature, 27 and likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet, Jesus said to me, Do you remember what I did to the city of Sodom and Gomorrah? If this world fails to repent, I will judge the world just like the way I did with the city of Sodom and Gomorrah, Jesus spoke with compassion for the world, he said to me, these are the people who held Moses' hand in prayer, but if I killed Moses, and I buried him because of disobedience who can be saved? Jesus said to me, Hearken to my word because they are true and they are coming to pass, I have not come to you with happiness but with concern, if people fail to repent, if people fail to keep my word, the judgment is coming, the day of the Lord is coming, who will stand on that great day? The day will be a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress a day of destruction and desolation, a day of darkness, gloom, and clouds, then Jesus showed me the crimes and tolls of war, how the innocent are cut off, I saw how everything was recorded and photographed and displayed in the records of heaven, he said, this is the condition of the world, people must repent because my time is coming, judgment is on the way, those who are coming to the church must go through honest repentance, it is a must, Many are joining the church without going through repentance and conversion, people must confess and abandon their sins and change their way of life because judgment is coming, go tell the world what you have seen, fear not to proclaim the truth, if the world would not repent, judgment will befall the world, the Bible says in Revelation 22 verse 11 12 he that is unjust, let him be unjust still, and he which is filthy, let him be filthy still, and he that is righteous, let him be righteous still, and he that is holy, let him be holy still, 12 and, behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be, beloved, my main message is repentance, sanctification and purification, these are not messages that people are enthusiastic about, we know that prosperity preachers are the ones drawing all the people because many are attached to the material world that is bound for destruction, I saw wars in the countries of the earth because of these unclean spirits, I asked Jesus, why are you showing me these things? Jesus said to me, go and tell humanity, in order to escape these demons, they need honest repentance, as a result, my spirit will come upon them, Jesus said, you must preach repentance to humanity because many churches are failing to do so, then Jesus said to me, this is what happens when a man dies before the time I set for him, his spirit will wander, considering that the world is controlled by fallen angels, demons will capture him and they will force him to enter in an agreement with them. They will enroll him in the army of Lucifer and deploy him on the earth to work for the kingdom of darkness. He will be working for the dark world until he has reached the number of years that I have allocated for him, at the end of time. The devil is using human spirits and making them work like demons, many people who have died before their time are enrolled in the army of Lucifer, they are working and functioning like demons on the earth for the dark world, 
Thus people who are dying as a result of witchcraft get captured and put to work for the kingdom of darkness by their executioners, this is the third kind of spirits operational on this surface of the earth, they are human spirits who had died prematurely, in the northern part of our country, premature death is frequent, people die prematurely as a result of human sacrifice, afterward, satanists turned up at the cemetery at night and they returned the victim to life and turned him into a slave, let me inform you many of the foreigners working in our country are dead people, they are local people who had died as a victim of human sacrifice, they are sent back to earth with false identities and false appearances, Jesus said, when the time predetermined for the death of these people is exhausted, they will end up in the abode of the dead, these are the third spirits operational on the earth, then Jesus said to me, John, Today I am taking your own life, when Jesus said that immediately I saw Apollo, the angel of death appearing to my auntie, I was in the capital province, but my auntie was in equatorial province, but when Jesus spoke immediately, I began to see this terrifying scene, when Apollo the angel of death appeared to my auntie, he said to her, I have come to take you because your time on the earth is finished, the time allocated to you is finished, beloved. Many people die in shock because prior to their death, the angel of death, Apollo will appear and deliver the message of death to them, when the angel of death comes, there is nothing a man can do because time is finished, you cannot buy the angel death with money, this angel of death functions like a government officer dispatched with a warrant to get your life, he has no feelings, when I saw this vision, I told my mother about it, she was scared, but the following day my auntie passed away. I was surprised, Jesus spoke to me and said, this is how the world is, I asked him, what are we supposed to do? He replied, you're going to have to fear me, keep my word and serve me, you must repent and convert, there are instances when a man dies, his soul will be on the earth for three days, he will witness his funeral and his burial a few days later, after these visions, I went on to spend two years under the teaching of men of God. I was sitting at the feet of the apostles, then the Lord came to me again and he transported my spirit in the air, and he showed me a mortuary where I saw many corpses, but to my surprise, the spirits of the dead were all around their corpses. Before heading to the abode of the dead, then Jesus said, watch what will happen, immediately I saw the world turn into trouble and calamity, the stars were falling from heaven and the sun was darkened and there were people dying as a result of extreme heat, it was absolute chaos and loss of control, then Jesus showed me the white throne judgment, I saw the world in a standstill, then books were opened, and people were judged according to their works, Jesus said to me, go tell the world to repent, judgment is inevitable, firstly, I saw a multitude of angels of God in heaven, they were innumerable, among them were four living creatures, they had six wings with many faces, each of their faces has meaning, they were closer to God, but they cannot watch God's face, therefore, they had to cover their faces with the two upper wings, archangels were standing in a relative distance, the four living creatures who are closer to God get instruction from the Lord and they transmit these instructions to the archangels, I also saw archangels and angels of war, then I saw billions and a myriad of these four wings angels, they were numerous as far as the eyes could see, there was no ending to the army of the Lord, beyond these crowds of the four wings angels I saw billions of two wings angels, they were numerous, then I saw on the throne, a male figure, he was shining like gold and he was lightning like a thunder. Beside him, I saw the twenty-four elders on their thrones, they were seated like members of a government, then I saw a powerful archangel sounding the trumpet, as a result, people who died since the beginning of the earth were rising from their graves, then I saw books opened on a huge table, including the book of life and the book of remembrance, I was shocked because everything you do on the earth is written, even if you gave someone a cup of water, it is written, then the Lord transported me to the place of rest in paradise, where I saw the arrival of the dead in Christ, I saw residential buildings in paradise, I saw the outpost station of the kingdom of heaven where the dead in Christ were landing, the dead in Christ were coming from Africa, America and the world and they were landing in the outpost station and they were dressed in garments of the purest white and they were shining, 
They were coming to the place of rest in order to rest from their labor and waiting for the rapture and the great day of the Lord. Only those who have died in Christ were entering in their rest. Revelation 14 verse 13 And I heard a voice from heaven saying to me, Write, Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from now on. Yes, said the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, and their works to follow them. I saw people dressed in bright garments of a pure white. Then the Lord took me to the new city that was not yet inhabited the new Jerusalem. There was no sun no moon. The city was shining and was built with precious stones. Revelation 21 to 127 And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. Two and I John saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. 3 And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. But there are people who died in sin. The Lord took me to a world where I saw like billions of children that were crying. This was like a maternity ward, Jesus said. Many of the children you see here have been aborted, the mothers the fathers, and the doctors who assisted one way or another in their deaths will face judgment, even if the babies were just blood, their murderers are going to be judged, on the chest of these babies were labeled with their ages and the dates they were aborted, these children were asking for justice because their lives were interrupted, these babies were shouting strongly and my ears could not bear the noise, just like the blood of Abel, the voice of the aborted baby's blood cried out to me from the ground, Genesis 4 verse 11 to 12 And now are you cursed from the earth, which has opened her mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. 12 When you till the ground, it shall not from now on yield to you her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shall you be in the earth. When the Lord showed me the white throne judgment, the twenty-four elders were seated on their thrones before a table where there were two books, the book of remembrance and the book of life. The world population was going through deliberation on the basis of what was written in the books of life and remembrance. After the judgment, I noticed that only 30% of the world's population was saved and 70% were lost. Then I saw the Lord Jesus Christ crying for the world population who were unworthy to enter eternal life, and I saw tears on the Lord's eyes. He said, I died and suffered for these people, I suffered for these people, but I lost them.